Boots is what you call him up there? Yes, his name is Boots. Okay. And how long do you think he's been up there? I checked my calendar and I think today is the 14th or 15th day. 14th or 15th day. Mm -hmm, without food or water. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, normally, you know, we don't come down this far into Oregon, but, I you know, know, I know that you said that you called, like, a bunch of other folks and they never returned your phone call or they never called you back or what was the story with that? Well, I'd never had a cat in a tree before. So I called the fire department, I called the sheriff's department, I called veterinarians, I called rescue, other rescue. Tree it, services. Tree services. And, and I knew you were far away, but I thought you might have some suggestions for me here in this area. <laughs> and I was so shocked when I went to work several days later and there was a message on my phone from you saying that you and your brother-in-law would actually come down yourselves and help me. Uh, when I could find no one else just because you love cats and you feel like they deserve to be rescued. And I am still in shock. I really yeah. am. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, 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 I sort of see it as like, we don't have to come down here. We, we get to come down here and we ha get to help this kitty out. And so that's sort of the way we look at it. I mean, I know this cat's been in the tree for a long time. I mean, I mean, I can hear him up there and I know that you've tried to call other folks and nobody called you back. And you know, it was a long weekend. Only and, you. <laughs> yeah, I knew that we weren't really doing anything this weekend, obviously, other than cat rescues, and so, why not? And so. Well, uh, I, I can't tell you how much yeah. sincerely I appreciate it, and I really do. Really cool. Well, you know, the good thing is it's a good, healthy oak tree, and uh, he seems to be pretty mobile up there, um, still after all this time, and uh, so I'm pretty confident that I can get up there and get him, but. You know, even the friendliest cats, there is always the risk that they could jump. And the good thing about this tree is that there's a lot of branches underneath that would protect him from hitting the roof if he did jump or mm -hmm. slip or fall. And so that's that's a plus. Right. So, yeah, it's a pretty easy tree to climb. And uh, I'm just going to get to it and we'll bring him well, on be down. Be careful because those will. branches on top are pretty thin. Yeah, I <laughs> but know. I saw your videos and I know you've done it before. So, cool. right. yeah, I really Hey, Bootser. Hey. Hi, buddy. Hi, Bootser. Oh, you're okay. You can stay right there, buddy. I'll come up to you. Hi, Boots. Hi. Hi, buddy. You know, you've been up here for a while, huh? Hi. Hi, Bootser. Let me do a little house cleaning here. Hi. Oh, hi, Bootser. Hi. Hi, buddy. You're just a little Bootser. Huh. You want me to come up just a little bit more? I can. Hi, Bootser. Hi. Hi, buddy. Give me that ball. Hey, Bootser. Sometimes that's the hardest part is just kind of letting go and trusting, huh? Hi, buddy. Sorry you've been up here for so long. Yeah, I know. You're okay. You're a good kitty. Hi, Bootser. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. You're safe now. You'll be heading down. 
I know. You don't need to grab the tree. I gotcha. I gotcha, buddy. You're okay. Hi, Bootser. Hi, buddy. I know. It's been probably a lonely time up here, huh? So listen, we gotta go in just a little bit of a sack for the way down, okay? I know. But it, sm it smells just like those treats, though. It smells just like those treats in there. Sweet kitty. <laughs>